Do you like pancakes and want them to be more nutritious and less heavy for digestion? Fermented by yeast flour pancakes are healthier for your gut and more flavorful and can be enjoyed as tasty leftovers. As a part of the series about fermented foods, today I will show you our way of making ultra-thick double leaven sourdough pancakes. Hello and welcome to Tell Me. Everyone knows how enjoyable freshly made pancakes are. Our recipe yields pancakes that taste great not only freshly off the pan, but can be also enjoyed over the course of a week as leftovers for another breakfast or for snacks. In a separate just released video about our recent four-day camping trip, we refried our sourdough pancakes for a campsite breakfast and enjoyed them even more when freshly cooked at home. We selected and established our sourdough starter and use it for all our baking needs. The night before cooking pancakes, we take about a quarter of a cup of the sourdough starter, store it in the fridge and add it to 550 grams of home ground whole wheat flour and three cups of milk. All ingredients get mixed, are left to rise overnight in a bowl covered with a moist kitchen towel at room temperature. In summertime, we shorten the room temperature resting period to four to six hours and then transfer to a refrigerator to avoid exhausting the sour door before we're ready to cook. In the morning, we mix well using a whisk, eight eggs, half a cup of sugar, one tablespoon of salt, half a cup of butter, one tablespoon of baking powder, half a tablespoon of vanilla, and a few drops of almond extract. By morning, the sourdough, flour, and milk mixture will have risen and will be porous inside. Seeing the bubbles and porosity inside the butter is a positive sign that the yeast did its job overnight and leavened the flour. Now we add the egg mixture to the leavened flour. You could do this step using a mixer, but I prefer to do it by hand. The yeast leavened flour has developed a gluten fiber structure that we want to preserve as much as possible so it can better trap the carbon dioxide particles during second leavening induced by baking powder. So gentle hand mixing is best. Add the egg mixture to the top of leavened flour butter and gently incorporate the liquid into the butter. Mix until all added liquid components are not visible on the surface. If you still feel some clumps in the butter, leave them alone. These clumps are critical for maintaining thickness of the pancakes. Let the mixture rest for about 10-15 minutes. This time we'll allow baking powder, our second leavening reagent, to react with the acidity produced by yeast, releasing carbon dioxide gas bubbles that will make the mixture even more porous. The consistency of pancakes mix at this point should be thick but still flowing and gel-like. Use a small ladle or a cup to dispense the pancake mixture onto the preheated non-stick frying pan or stove griddle like we use here. The butter will spread to about a 5 to 6 inch sometimes irregular circle and will stop as the bottom of the pancake starts solidifying. As you can see, the yeast leavened butter tends to stay together and the scoop of butter sometimes doesn't even stick to the ladle. After about a minute on the griddle, you will start seeing small bubbles appearing on the surface of the pancakes. Using a plastic spatula, prop the edge of each pancake and see if its bottom is turning to a nice yellow-orange or slightly brown color and flip the pancake in place onto its uncooked side. Repeat the process and collect the cooked pancakes in the preheated warming tray. We use a ceramic tray placed next to the griddle where it gets preheated by the adjacent stove burners. Once all pancakes are cooked, bring them to the table and enjoy them with your favorite condiments. We like to eat our pancakes with yogurt and homemade marmalade or other fruit preserves. If you have any leftovers, you can refrigerate them and enjoy them later. Simply put a leftover pancake to the toaster and it's ready to eat. The list of ingredients and their weight volume in our recipe yields about 12 pancakes and it is in the description of the video. I hope you enjoyed this video and are inspired to cook these ultra-thick pancakes yourself. Let me know how it works for you in the comments. 
please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos about our cooking projects and recipes. Cheers!